everybody. So that looks kind of funny, doesn't it? Hello, everybody. So today is my Rebecca Michelson um, hair and makeup tutorial. Hopefully, you can kind of tell that just by looking at me. That's that's kind of the hope. I'm not sure if it, you know, what's the word? Translates. But um, hopefully. So anyways, that's what this today's video is all about. If you're interested in seeing how I achieved this look right here, then continue on watching. Really quickly, though, I want to touch on my Christian nugget really quickly. So my Christian nugget video today is all about stabi stability and security. And I have a struggle with trying not to feel like stability and security come from a routine and from stable finances, things like that really um, matter to me and for me I have a hard time not focusing on those things. I definitely have an issue with trying to be in control and wanting to have my finances and everything all figured out, my plan for life all figured out and perfect, but in reality that's not life and in even more reality that's not what you're supposed to do. I mean, the stability and the comfort and the security is supposed to come from God. It's not supposed to come from things. And I will have a full video all about that, Christian. I get more in detail, which will be linked down below if you are interested. But for um, now, let's get into this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Comment down below what you guys would like to see from me. Um, you can get in contact with me through email or follow me on social media. I also have a website that you could possibly check out if you feel like it. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Hello everybody, so to start off with I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my face with my favorite moisturizer just so that my skin is all nice and hydrated. Then I'm going to prime my face just to minimize my pores and give myself a nice kind of natural radiance and plus this will give the foundation something to stick to. Then going into my favorite foundation, I am going to go ahead and apply that to the back of my hand. And I, as you can clearly see, used way too much and I had a lot left over. Then I'm going to use these um, foundation drops just to go ahead and try and make that foundation a little bit darker. And then I put in a couple of different drops just to make sure that it was dark enough. And then I'm applying that to my face with a brush. I find that this helps me to get it like evenly um, dispersed along my face and then later go in and blend it out. But just to begin with, getting it nice and evenly across my face using a brush and then I'm going to use my beauty blender and go ahead and blend that out. And you can use whatever brush or whatever suits you, but for me a beauty blender is what I prefer to blend out my foundation with. Then I went ahead and did my brows and I don't know why I didn't show you which brow pencil I used, but I use the same one as always and it's the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro, Pen Micro Pencil and I'm just filling my brows in to look as much like Rebecca's as I possibly could. You do not have to go this far trying to make your eyebrows look just like hers, but for the sake of the video I did. Then I don't know why it cut out, but it did not catch me uh, showing you guys the bronzer, but I did use the Hula Benefit bronzer for this, and I'm just adding that to the three of my face, which is, you know, along the forehead, the jawline, and underneath the cheekbone. And I'm using that same bronzer along the edge of my nose, trying to contour it to look a bit more like Rebecca's nose. Then using this Maybelline Fit Me Powder, I'm going to go ahead and kind of clean up that contour just a little bit, as well as go ahead and set that under eye area. Then I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes because, of course, we all know we need to prime the most basic things like our eyes and our face because, you know, making sure those shadows don't move and don't smudge and don't crease because there's nothing worse than the creasy eyes. Does anyone remember before they came out with eyeshadow primers and everyone had creasy eyes and it was, like, super horrible? Because I do, and it sucked. And anyways, and I went ahead and I set that also with that same face powder. And then I'm going to go with a little bit of a peachy shade, um, and I'm just going to apply this all over my eye to give myself a little bit of a flush of color to start out with and to build off of, because I find that with eyeshadows, it's best to build up the product um, with just a little bit of color at a time. And so I'm going to continue building up with a little bit of a darker shade, um, still in that same range of kind of warmer tones. And I'm going to focus most of the color in my crease area and on that outer corner, um, but I'm also going to bring it in towards my nose just because I don't have the same face shape that Rebecca does. Well, Claire Holt, who plays Rebecca, does. So I'm really going to start to put that 
um, right underneath the brow, kind of trying to create a little bit of a shadow there that I do not naturally have, but that I see in most of her photos. Then I'm going to go with a darker brown and continue this process, building up that crease area and beginning to focus it a little bit on that outer corner, um, just kind of giving myself a little bit of a natural shadow. Her makeup isn't super dramatic most of the time, so I'm kind of going for the in-between. Um, lately, on the original, she's had a really natural look, like almost like a barely there makeup, but previously, especially on the Vampire Diaries, she had a lot more of an intense one so I'm kind of trying to play in between those types and I put this darker shade mostly just on that outer corner then took the brush when it was clean and blended it out. Then I'm going in with that um, two shades before that I had done earlier and I'm just going to put those over top and blend and blend and blend until my hand was almost broken from blending. Literally. Then I'm going to take the next to go palette um, and I'm going to take this nice kind of champagne -y goldish color and put that on uh, the lid and this is going to help to make sure the look looks a little bit more natural and a little bit more light and not too intense. I don't want those darker shades in the crease to overtake the look so I'm going to do this and then blend once again which I did not show you but I did blend again. Then I'm going to take this really dark shade and put this just along the lash line just because especially um, later on in the originals her eyeliner isn't really eyeliner it looks more like it's just a shadow um, but definitely there's something there. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara to my lashes about 5,000 times until they look false. And you could go ahead to apply false lashes, which I wish I could do, but you know what? Buying false lashes all the time is really expensive, and I'm a poor college student, so we're rolling with this. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply those first two shadows to my under eye area just to give myself a little bit of a shadow, and I also applied mascara there. And I'm using that same champagne color on my um, inner corner and then I'm using that blush from that palette as well as that highlight shade and I'm going to apply the both of those and I'm using both liquid lipsticks here trying to get a nice um, look for this lips situation trying to get as close to Rebecca's as I can and because the Vampire Diaries and the originals they don't always have the same thing especially Rebecca I feel like they kind of um, alter her look every once in a while. So it's kind of hard to figure out what kind of look cover to go, color to go with. This is what I came up with. And as far as her hair, her hair either seems to have like the really bouncy curls on the bottom or like a wave that's done definitely with a um, wand or there's something in between that's kind of like a, a looser wavy kind of curly situation which is the one I'm going for right now. So I'm just taking a one inch curling iron and I'm rolling up the hair um, little bit by little bit and the, basically the trick that I'm using here is that rolling it up bit by bit helps the whole part of the hair, the whole shaft of the hair to heat up and then leaving out the ends is what gives it that more natural look that she tends to have some of the time um, because I've seen a lot of tutorials for that those bouncy curls so I thought I'd go something different and then I'm going to set my face some setting spray I know it's a little bit of out of order but whatever and then I'm going to add some texturizing spray to my hair to help the curls hold as well as give myself some volume because Rebecca always has sexy hair regardless of what kind of hair she's got going on. And this is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so that I know. Comment down below what you guys would like to see next time. Please let me know if I missed any of the Vampire Diaries girls because if I did, I will finish them all. But let me know. And yeah, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.